What's up, guys? I'm Josh. I'm Bria. I'm Marisa. And I'm Rendro. <laughs> and welcome to Let's Plays Anime. The channel where we cover... Anime, animation, and video games. <laughs> and welcome back, guys, to episode 12, season 2 of My Hero Academia. Um, <laughs> we have Bria back. So. Yay! Yay! Oh, I slick saw that. That actually hit me dead. That was dead. But yeah, we have Bria back. Uh, welcoming guys. Bria back and her smile, our Chip Skylark <laughs> smile. And Who's um, better though. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a competition. Oh, okay, you're right. It's always competition. If you're not first, you're last. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, for real. Fair just enough. Just Midoriya, kidding. you last, my nigga. You extra last. Bruh, Midoriya. All right, Dang. anyways, we can't talk about that right now. We're Midoriya, two episodes past happened? that episode. You're right, you're right. But um, Bria did watch the episodes to catch up, so you guys don't have to ask me that question a million she, times. was crazy. Did Bria even watch the videos, crazy. or did she just come is back? She even Dang. Part of, is, she, Dang. is she part of the game like that, see the bro? fight. She don't even know characters. She can't even name three characters like that, man. She be like, uh, my uh, 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 what that is? My whole life. Who this is? Who this is? <laughs> oh, that my all. My all. <laughs> Oh, my God. oh, that's somewhat. <laughs> somewhat um, so I low key okay. forgot the preview for this episode slash like what's gonna happen, but I guess that's a good thing because what surprises. People took my life out. Um, oh, oh, this is the episode where Todoroki <laughs> and Bakugo fight each other, so for the finals. So Ooh. that will be this a will be lit episode, hopefully. Um, uh, I'm rooting for the boy Bakugo because fuck Todoroki. I mean, I like his backstory; he's a cool character, but fuck him compared to Bakugo. My opinion. For who? You know who I'm going for? Yeah. 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 Oh, what yeah. you say? You know who I'm <laughs> Wait, what did you say? Todoroki. You said yeah, going I for? I don't know. I yeah. think that Oh, I was... thought you said, you know who I'm oh. going <laughs> to. <laughs> Todoroki. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> the hell? I, I was like, I mean, chill. maybe if he wins. No, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> joking. Joking. JK. Joking. She has a Todoroki body pillow in her room. Nuh-uh. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Are you on the Todoroki team? I don't know. I'm so conflicted. This is why I'm this I'm on Team Bakugo, like. boy. I really, team, I really like Bakugo. Uh, he on the bottom of my shirt, but... Oh. Wait. All right, Team Bakugo, boys. Hope don't this dude cover his face. Cool, right? Bro, explosions. No, I think like I, I said, who? You're gonna go Todoroki. It's messing with this guy. Hey, right Todoroki fan club. Todoroki, yeah. Todoroki, Todoroki. We need little Todoroki. signs right. that are like, go Todoroki. 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 <laughs> so they all Todoroki. I, I'm for Bakugo. He the boy. Uh, but, but nobody anyways. was really lit about this episode. Everybody was like lit about ten. So what's up with this one? Yeah, I mean, they, they probably like poured all their animation yeah. quality and stuff into probably. ten. Like they're like. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, like, they're probably exhausted and like. I mean, didn't, yeah. Didn't I mean, bother. I mean, yeah. I think this fight will be lit though. Um, I can't see why it would not be. But um, with that being said, we're gonna get right into the episode. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the bell button to follow our content. Please like the video if you like it, and if you love it, share it with all your friends and family. Yay. And yeah, you forgot. We all know <laughs> no, 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 no. I got it. it. And follow our Let's Plays anime social media. Ooh, Ooh, she did it! Oh. Yes! <laughs> and I even got the, the finger action with it, too. Oh my goodness. Like, yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm dead. And follow our personal social medias right over here. Yes. And if you guys want to get more exclusive content, like early videos, uh, seeing our bloopers, seeing live reactions, and seeing the most recently created Discord server for uh, Let's Plays Animes. Be sure to check out the Patreon um, down in the description below as well. But with that being said, let's get it. Let's get it. As I watched the ice cream. We did. Oh, Baku is pledged. See, I have love for him. Of course, of course. He's so adorable. Deke. He's just determined. Oh yeah, the music. I love it. Say, here I will become number one, bro. Look at that. Mm. He might be trash. He might be big. Bakugo? He might be big. <laughs> I mean, he was, uh, that was crazy. Uh, that was just a highlight video for Bakugo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's the boy. Damn. 
<laughs> so what's going on? <laughs> Who else? Huh? So you better not be in here flashbacking. He's gonna do that to Deku and Deku. Uh oh. So I mean, he's not gonna do it again. It seems like. Uh oh. <laughs> Childhood friends. Hell no, man. What did you say to me? He's getting the whole oh. thing. Oh. <laughs> the ignorance. See your guys. family's circumstances and your feelings? I don't care. I'll give a <laughs> Better, you're gonna lose. I will hold them down from above. Froki versus Bakugo. Frozu, Bay. The they always have that one man. On a different angle. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, President Mike. The final. Yeah. Started with that freaking big ass ice attack, bro. Wow. So you thought. What's the, what you think it is? Nigga, nigga, igloo? Yeah, my boy drilled his way through. How else are you gonna get out? The stronger the quirk. Oh, let's go! Give me that hair, boy! Blanca! Oh, he... Oh, he tossed Odin? Oh! I got you this time, my nigga. Fire? He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna do it, he's not gonna do it because of Endeavor had that. Oh my god, bro. This nigga. Do it, Shoto! <laughs> I'll kill you. Yeah, I can get that though. Someone doesn't want to respect you or use their best. I like how they shared their rocket while he said that. Uh, Midori is watching me? <laughs> my, <nigga. laughs> my friend! <laughs> what you gonna do, Todoroki? Oh. Okay! Let's go! Alright! Explosions are like. What? What the fuck is he doing? He's, he's like crazy. twisting. Uh. <gasps> nigga! No! Todoroki's out! He gave up himself. Todoroki Damn. let himself yeah. take the L. Dang. He didn't want to use it. Uh, I know Bakugo's mad. <laughs> so get your ass up! <laughs> Fight me for real! <laughs> yeah. He doesn't want it. There go. I'm, I'm in it. Oh. oh so, it's so she puts people to sleep. Well. I was right, but not in the way that yeah, I was that, really that was really an even match. And then that's right. why it wasn't talked about. Yeah. Like... Boy, sleep. But then again, like, if you have a traumatic life event, you can't just get over it in a day. Of course not. It's been more than a day. 
Naruto. No, it's been a day. He fought Midori on the same day. Savage. Should be like embrace yourself. Like, come on. Priya's like it's been more than a day since I watched this episode. It has to be. No, I mean his traumatic experience. What that? Yeah, because he does not want it, bro. When they have to force you to get first. Oh, Full Metal Alchemist train. <laughs> if y'all have seen that, thing. never ending train. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They're all like, no, I'm the number one hero. Damn! This man jumping from the top of the stadium? <laughs> Look how big he is in comparison! <laughs> oh. So come here, my boy. <laughs> yeah. You're the... <laughs> Endeavor in the crowd, like, you better not hug my son. I assume there's a reason. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Endeavor in the crowd. I just want to see Endeavor's face. <laughs> Good job doing what you said you would do. He's like, my brother is uh, like, right. <laughs> they all look very alike. Still in Damn, he's sad. So he was playing it cool, but he really did. Is that Stain? Of All Might's mentor or whatever? Ooh. Oh, his sister. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, he's going to see his mom. <laughs> I'll be back. Don't tell dad nothing. I want to see her talking. I want to hear her voice more, like her voice actor. Yeah. More. That's very interesting. We got a, we got a lot of family getting involved here. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad they're expanding on the family side of things. Me like, too. The backstories keep going deeper. Yeah, I like that too. This episode definitely did not go as expected. No, uh, not at all. Like it, not at all. Has it always been? No, I don't if think anyone so. won or <laughs> lost, I did That's not expect true. it to be because someone hung their head at the last second. Neither. I really didn't. That's crazy. I, well, I don't kept think... progressing. I was like, man, he's going to. He's not going to use it. I thought he was going to use it. I'm frustrated. Yeah, I thought he was going to use it. Yeah, too. I really. Especially after Midoriya cheered yeah, him on. Yeah, like you already used it, and you already used it once. Like, right. 
he just lost, man. He don't know himself. He's, like, struggling, he's trying to find yeah, himself. Yeah, exactly. He's struggling he mentally. I appreciate that he's trying to do that. But at the same he time, just felt like, so wrong. He felt so wrong that he should lose it or whatever. Yeah. Whatever. He, he don't even know what to do. He, he didn't want to fight. He grew up almost his whole life knowing that it's wrong and being set against it. It's like a big change. Mm-hmm. It's a part of him, so, though. I'm like, he should accept up. it. Yeah. He's mature. I think he definitely will once he figures out all the like conflicts within himself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's an after credit scene. Okay, yeah. man. You're Rocco. I told you, you guys say this stuff about her. Mm, you guys heard it. You guys heard it. It's their apartment? The door is unlocked. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Why did they come out like that? Why did they? they? Were fucking oh. Fuck. <laughs> we came to throw you an after party. They're at her yeah, door. What's wrong with your eye? What about work? Her mom looks just like her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Aww. Aww. Seven times. I lost conscious this seven times. The last time I love his mom. He's like, Mom, I'm struggling. Can I get some help with some food, <laughs> this food please? <laughs> Suddenly hearing that you had a quirk. I have a quirk. <laughs> It was sort of variation or something. Now I have a quirk. Aww. <laughs> I'll support you, but that doesn't mean I don't worry. Of course, you and the mom. There's dad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Need, it, need that control, my boy. Yeah, Bakugo had his starting line way back. Do you want to watch it in HD? <laughs> so maybe you can take the recording to the school. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Damn <yes. laughs> Oh, is that? Wait, we're going to see his family? Oh, we just heard his mom. Oh. I think his mom. Yeah. Yeah. Next. I ain't watch no more previews. Code That's names. so funny, die germs. <laughs> die! Damn germs! <laughs> Have you guys seen RDC World? Uh, no, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I saw like that it came out. Ability. Yeah, that shit funny because... One of the points that they had was uh, enhanced ignorance. <laughs> and somebody said, That's Bakugo! <laughs> that is <laughs> Bakugo. Bakugo. Go beyond plus ultra! Ooh. Wow, so my birthday's tomorrow, guys. <gasps> oh my god, you're finally 19. <laughs> I'll take yeah. that though. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, how old are you? 22. 22. Okay, to the youngest. Dang, he's uh, a I was baby. Gonna switch the numbers, and I'm but, you know, I feel I'm old, man. No, like, no, I'm that, like, old. You're 22. I'm 25. How do I feel? Yeah. <laughs> my bat make me feel like 35. you're an established grandpa. It's okay. <laughs> 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 I didn't expect after established grandpa to come out of her mouth, Tattoo, but um, that was. <laughs> oh, I realized we're still recording. Sorry, guys. Way off topic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, calm yourself. But yeah, this episode went uh, definitely a lot less unexpected. I cannot form my words unexpected. there. Very yeah. unexpected. Yeah. Um, obviously, my boy Bakugo still sorry, won, guys. but you know, a win is a win. You know what I mean. Not to even, him. <laughs> even if even if you gotta blow up your opponent when they're defenseless, <laughs> but uh, that I mean I'm not gonna sleep on that move either because I did want to see how that move uh like because he did mention that to Todoroki he was like I'm gonna hold your flames down from above so he kind of like s- like hinted at Todoroki that he was gonna come at him from aerial mm-hmm. from the air um so I definitely wanted to see you know, how uh, that move would fare, just because he was definitely spinning, so maybe, like, there's always, like, that wind in a vacuum thing, like, I don't know how much you guys know about, like, superheroes and, like, the Flash and stuff like that, but you know how, like, whenever there's a fire, if someone, like, goes around it really fast, like, there's, like, no oxygen, all the oxygen gets sucked out in a vacuum, and there can't be fire without oxygen, maybe that's, like, what Bako was trying to do with Mm -hmm. Todoroki, so maybe when he did shoot his fire at him, before it reached Bakugo, there would be no fire 
because mm-hmm. he's like creating like a mini tornado. Yeah, he was like, you extinguished your flames. Maybe yeah. he expected to extinguish them, but then I mean, he didn't. Well, he wanted. I think he wanted to see if that move overcame it because Bakugo definitely like prepares mentally for his matches, um, and then kind of thinks about what he can do. And then sometimes he just, you know, figures it out on the fly during his match. Which he's very good at doing. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good at doing. I know we didn't really get to see a fair, even match because Todoroki just kind of, like, let his internal stuff, yeah, get to him at the last second. But I feel like um, what we talked about, like, a long time ago when it comes to super overpowered quirks such as Todoroki's, um, where it might be a problem because you rely so much on the heavy power of that quirk versus your actual instincts and physical skill. And I think we definitely saw that. I don't know who would have won if they went at it full throttle on both sides, but Bakugo definitely beat Todoroki in the natural like fight instinct category, you know, where he has that physical ability. I don't think Todoroki's quite on par with him when it comes I to think that. Yeah. Bakugo had more determination. Like, he, he literally, like he said from well, the beginning, yeah, he just wanted mm. first place. He wanted to oh, win. Yeah. I mean, I think well, Todoroki, Todoroki had determination. determination. I think yeah. he had determination, but he just couldn't another, do what it exactly. took to keep pushing aspect, his determination. But he was determined to, like, find himself and for his exactly. own reason. No, no, he's, so I mean, both, he said to Midoriya, like, He's determined to beat Midoriya and, you know, become, show that he can be the number one hero. But I think just after Midoriya, Midoriya, like, shook his ideals, his inner ideals so much that he, like, lost determination instead of gained it going forward. Because, like, Bakugo, with every match, he, like, gained determination. But um, uh, Todoroki probably lost, like, determination after he fought Midoriya because he's like... I'm so confused. This man like didn't hurt my body, but he broke my mind. Like yeah, he definitely so, lacked, I like about he him. lacked determination. Yeah, yeah. I like that a sure. lot about him. I mean, even uh, I like Aizawa was saying like since the match with Midoriya, he Todoroki's lost his touch. Yeah, he lost his touch most so. definitely. Mm-hmm. He wasn't even thinking about the match at all. Like even in the yeah. room, yeah. yeah, he was thinking about man, what is going on? Who am yeah. I? Yeah, my mom. And then Bakugo come in trying to stir him up, but he was not hearing it because this bigger things that's going on with They both them. had different like focuses. Yes. Even in the match yeah. he wanted he had to fight but then he kept having those flashbacks. He was in his side inside his head so much. Yeah. yeah he definitely so, didn't care about didn't winning care the battle all. the yeah. last battle. He was more focused on the bigger picture of figuring yeah. himself out and his and family everything. and that's good. I guess even if you think about it though like he wasn't even focused during his match with Ida. Maybe that's yeah. why Ida was able to land the blows that he would have because yeah. he was able to just you know clinch out a win at the final moment using his yeah. ice against Ida, but he like... He could have been done that. You know, just, the nature, yeah, just the nature of them fighting, he still had instincts, because yeah. he yeah. still had that instinct to not get ringed And he out still didn't use it. his fire during yeah. the match with Ida either, because I remember when he went to the left, and then he used ice to block him off, and then he ran to the right, and I was like, oh, fire? And then he used ice again. Yeah. So I was like, oh, like, I guess he's just not gonna use his fire. Because, um, like, throughout his whole pretty much childhood... Uh, and ever been beating the shit out of him, and yeah. then he finally decided not to use fire, and then he used fire, and now he's like, "What do I do now?" <laughs> I feel like I'm like still of the opinion and, uh, that he would have used it if because uh, he had Midoriya hyping him up from the crowd, but I literally think that he would have used it if Endeavor didn't say like. Use it, Shoto! Yeah. Because that probably fucked his Reminded whole mental state. Reminded him why yeah. he's not using it. Like, yeah. because right. of you. Because he even said that with his match with Midoriya, he was like, I forgot about you. Yeah. And so, like, Endeavor making himself known and making himself present probably made him not want to use the so fire. That's what makes me so mad, though. It's like, then block out your dad. Like, it's you. Like, the fire is part of you. But that's a big mental struggle yeah, that you go through. Yeah. Like, uh, it's just like growing up thinking one thing your entire mm-hmm. life and then at your whole world gets flipped upside down and you're like, Wait, right. in, what? In the, in the way he he did at immature about it, mm-hmm. if you can think, if you really think about it, so now he's really maturing, and he said, "Fuck all this about me. What about my mom? My mm-hmm. mom has been gone for all, since I was five, pretty much." Well, his mom is one of the big reasons he doesn't use doesn't fire use it so because he, he resents his dad so much. Yeah. So I think he needs some mental clarity on how his mom feels mm-hmm. about everything now. And so and he's going towards to, to, um, to his mom and get a second opinion on things. I want to know what she's going to say. Me too. I really do. He, Me she too. looks mad yeah. healthy now. She does. Yeah, she does. She was pretty. Yeah. She's pretty. Yeah, that's she what was was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Was I was going like, to She got no bags, no wrinkles. Yeah, she doesn't look old no. or anything. I thought she was mad old, but that, no. that ice keeping her fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hey, maybe. Butter, if you will. 
I saw some video about some like Asian lady that like goes into this freezing ice cold lake like every yeah, single day. Yeah, it's like cryotherapy. What? Yeah, and it's supposed to like keep her. It's kept her like super young. So that? a oh, shit. yeah, people Maybe. people do that with um with like the. It's like you lay down inside of a. It looks very similar to a, a android chamber from. Oh like, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, from like from uh, Dragon Ball Z. That's like cryotherapy, but yeah. they basically like can like freeze and preserve your body. They put your body at like a very very deep cold temperature, and then they pull you out like an hour or later. I want to say. Wow. So then there you go. Might be the ice. There you go. Might the be ice. ice. There you have it. You you Fro- it. frosty. <laughs> Frosty, fresh. Frosty, the Todoroki. If I do feel Bakugo, though, um, <laughs> winning first, but he didn't want to win it that way, and that sucks. Yeah. Because he went through so much throughout the whole, yeah. you know, obstacles yeah. and stuff, and then end up being number one because Todoroki gave up. I understand Bakugo's yeah. thinking mm-hmm. on that yeah. win. I that definitely say, be with, I love that. With the type of passion they have, that wouldn't be satisfactory. I yeah. love that though. Even though he won, he's still not satisfied. Ever, like, yeah. yeah. Ever since um, talking to Deku about look, seeing Todoroki's power, I don't even think I can beat him. So he really trained for Todoroki this say, whole like, time. Yeah. This whole time, and when he finally <laughs> yeah, got a got chance to it. fight him, he was like, "Bro, give me your like, everything because really I trained yeah. for you." Yeah. Right. Like and like, oh, now you're not going to give me the same fucking energy that you gave to Deku? Yeah. I mean, and then and now yeah. it makes him feel like, damn, like, am I, not like, not good enough, enough for you? Right? Yeah, yeah, and he, it also, like, is, like, a double thing because he's, like, inadequate to Deku in Todoroki's eyes mm-hmm. at the same time. And Baku probably doesn't like the, like, the mental thought of someone else that he sees as strong not respecting his strength yeah. in regards to Deku. Yeah, it's just tasteful. Um, but I can definitely, you know, see where that's coming from. Like, it's pretty much, like... You know, you play anyone in, like, some game or some competition, and you know that they're just really, really good. You've been, like, training your butt off, and, like, then when you get there, your opponent's just like, eh, you can have the win. And you're like, no, you don't want that. Like, you want to you wanna show, especially in front of other people, you want to show that you worked for it and that you overcame. Yeah, there's because no to the crowd, they just like, oh, he didn't use his fire, so... I mean, I guess Bakugo won, but mm-hmm. did he I mean, really they're win? They're probably happy, like, but yeah. for him, he's like, no, I didn't win. He's like, I don't care what the medal says, I don't care what all y'all say, right. I didn't try. win. For Which me. I don't blame him at all. Yeah, but obviously, either. Todoroki wasn't giving f's about really much. Yeah, because he, so. he he like fuck this um, first place. I want to showcase that I can beat Todoroki, who in my mind, in my eyes, is the number one in the class. When he's actually yeah. trying. Like when Twitter, he's actually trying. All Might also gave them uh, this guy right here. He definitely <laughs> gave them um, a lot of good advice. I wish he, I wish Ida was there to talk to him, but Ida obviously, you know, had a thing going on with his brother. But the advice that he gave them was all really good. Like Tokoyami, he's basically saying you need to stop relying on your quirk so much. Mm-hmm. Like your quirk can't do everything. It's like basically Tokoyami gets put in this position where if he ever encounters a light villain or like some kind of person that's like, you know, his weakness, it's like he just can't do anything. Mm-hmm. And that should not be a situation that you should be put in. You should kind of have like coverage for all situations when things go bump in the night. Um, huh. Double pun ah. bump in the night. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about the night part, but when things go bump in the day, yeah, I guess. Yeah. But um, Todoroki, he basically, you know, talked to Todoroki about the reason for him not using his fire. He didn't want to like delve into it because he could see that was personal, and but he could see that you know if you're using both of your sides, you'll be really really powerful. Mm-hmm. And then he talked to Bakugo about you know basically just taking this competition, like taking his win as not a win but a wound. Um, so that he can remember, you know, what it took to be number one. And, like, that's a really important thing that All Might talks about in their society of, like, being number one and Mm -hmm. stuff like that. So it's really important that Bakugo has that drive because that's something that, like, Deku is lacking. Like, Deku has the I want to save people and Bakugo has the I want to be number one. And they just need to meld a little (laughs) bit and take a little bit from each other. And uh, I think that's why... uh... All Might slash Midoriya is, like, number one because yeah. the value's at the end of it. Like, yeah. He wants to help people. That's what a hero is. Like, yeah. not just Well, I mean, that and one, one for all. One for all, bro. Yeah, yeah. One, for all, yeah. one for all is super, yeah. But it's at broke. the same time, I do get what you're saying because yeah. um, that's, like, Thanks. it's like when people say that you have a passion for something and it's more natural for you to succeed if you're actually, like, actively doing your passion. It's like... 
He doesn't think twice about helping people, whereas others do. Even as awesome of a quirk as they have, you're not going to be number one if that's not naturally something you do, you yeah. know? Right. So um, that's definitely something I think Bakugo maybe struggles in, but we've seen him do some acts where he, like, you know, he clearly cared about the situation, but we'll see more. I think that's part of his character development. That just reminded me of, of, like, during the fight when he is basically, like, making that speech to Todoroki. In a way, I think he was, like, giving respect to Todoroki, mm-hmm. you know, too, because it was really, like, insensitive of him, of course, when he was, like, you know, about your past and all that stuff. Forget all that. Fight me mm-hmm. at, like, your top. But he is also just telling him, you need to, like, let that go. <laughs> and, you know, kind of, like, come at me like I'm your enemy and that, you know, like, you know, we need to fight this out. But also during the match when he was coming at him originally, he was just like, I want, he's like, he's trying to explain to Todoroki his side of things, his ideals. I want to be number one. I need you to fight me at number one. And then they also have like a part where they mentioned, if you don't want to be number one, why are you even standing in front Mm -hmm. of me? And they showed her Raka during that part oh, yeah. which was like a really good <coughs> tribute i feel like because yeah. she gave her all to like yeah. try to be number one to Felt beat so and baku respected that highly yeah. um and there was even some part that he said that showed deku but i don't really remember what deku. he said um in regards to that um but yeah definitely hopefully we delve a little more into like the, the Ida situation uh hopefully oh yeah that was a shocker yeah i thought most definitely he died but brie was like man you know so i, I like, give yeah. <laughs> Because it I mean, com- I mean they come said on, they say he's too- hero killer. There's yeah. blood everywhere, and he licked that nigga blood too. That's but um, that that's, that's 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 I like Apes. that though. Because <laughs> like I would <laughs> like that. No, I'm talking about Ida and his brother not dying. Like I, I mean, like they that. did say that if his brother came in two minutes later, he would have died. Yeah, but yeah. like so. I really uh, because he looks up to this dude. So right. I don't know. I really thought that if this nigga died, Ida would not become a hero. I think he would be broken. Become As a villain fuck. or something. Not, not a villain. I think he just <coughs> well, yeah. would have hung it up. Because that was his driving motivation. So what else would have been his drive? Just to uh, maybe, you know, to uh, uh, avenge him or something. Mm-hmm. But then he will get himself killed. I think it's kind of <laughs> weird that he didn't Fact. get his third place medal still. Like, you could have just nah, still given it He I mean, he probably was just like, he literally just told them, like, look, my brother just got... You know, got like, almost killed by a villain. I need to leave. Got I hurt, so my nigga. Like, how do you give a medal slick. away for that? It's like, that's a valid reason to leave. Like, No, no, no. They were saying that Tokoyami and Ida both got third. Oh, okay, They're both okay, going to... Okay, they, yeah, they okay. both got third. They're both getting a third place medal. But Ida just wasn't there to, to receive it. his third okay. place medal. I was like, dang. Yeah, because they both lost. So there's no technical way unless there was a third place match between... Uh, but uh, they couldn't have it because Ida left. I think that's No, 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 no. They, they just weren't going to do one. Oh, they were just going to award both of them third place. Like, two thirds. One second, one first. Um, but yeah, yeah because I'm it'll, excited it'll though to see because I'm excited to see the outcomes of the family situations because Ida is such a like positive, like by the rules, like very um, what's the word? Astute I don't. Yeah, he's person. just. It's just to see him in a situation like that where the person that has made him that way and so dedicated mm-hmm. to what he does be put in that situation. We don't know yet if his brother is going to actually survive because we just know he's in extremely critical condition and could have died very right. easily if yeah. they didn't get to him sooner or later or whatever. But anyway, so I think it's going to be a good character development for him as a character because we don't know what's going to happen to the personality that we know and love. If anything happens to his brother, maybe it already changed him. And what his brother may tell him, like, yeah. after he comes to... It's mm-hmm. also very s- similar to something, like, you guys have been saying in the comments about how, like, no character's left behind, every character gets their own arc. So <laughs> yeah. we have, like, Midoriya arc, Todoroki arc, now Ida arc. <laughs> which is weird that they're doing that instead of, like, Bakugo arc. Um, but. Todoroki, too, with his mom, um, oh, with yeah. such a... Todoroki's come off pretty cold until recent episodes. So to see him go through this situation with his mom, which is very personal and very... Cold very close to his heart. He is. He's always, like, calm, collected, kind of, like, cold. Cool. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I knew, I knew cool. you were going to say that. Cool. Cool. I knew you were going to say no that. No pun intended. But anyways, um, so to see him go through a situation that's obviously very personal to him and close to his heart and affects him strongly in every move he makes as a hero on his path to a hero, that's going to be great character development, too, and I'm excited to see. Yeah, I love the maturity of the TV show. There's a lot of, you know, immaturity, and then there's a lot of real, and then there's, like, a... Sure. There's a lot of real nice sh- real life shit. Because mm-hmm. when I love the Toriyoki talking, like, you know, um, what is it called? Narrating. 
throughout this whole time walking through the hospital, going to see his mom and everything. That that's that was beautiful to me. I think it was beautiful that he said that he wanted to save her too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so yeah. beautiful. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And I don't know about the even if she doesn't <laughs> want it part, because if she wants to like stay there, I don't know if it's right of Todoroki to want to take her out into the world again. Um, but then again, we don't know like how much access she has to the world and all that stuff. But I know like usually when you're in like an institution like you're pretty restricted yeah um to what it, like she was in a room this uh, is not an insane asylum shit. right yeah. i mean sometimes it can be to the person depending on you know what you're going through yeah um but yeah guys uh we obviously talked a little long for this episode but um we obviously had a lot of thoughts about it mm-hmm. so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did leave a thumbs up Comment down below. Let us know what your favorite part of the episode is. And be sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you can't miss a video from us. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Yay! Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.